You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hi, I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Welcome back to CNA Heroes, where we recognize outstanding CNAs across the spectrum of healthcare. Today's segment is one of my favorite, and the reason is because it's about a hospice care CNA. I've always had a very deep reverence for those who work hospice. Some of the greatest people I know have devoted their lives to working in hospice. My Aunt Jeanette, a CNA, retired from hospice after decades of service. And NACA's own Celeste Wooten from the Board of Directors has dedicated her career to hospice as well. Doctors and nurses who help bring babies into this world can be found in many commercials and there have even been television shows written about obstetrics. And it's a great responsibility to help women safely de deliver their babies. However, CNAs who help those on their journey from this life to the next, CNAs who support others during their transition, CNAs who provide comfort to those leaving this world should be celebrated and held in as high regard as those who assist new lives coming into this world. A big thank you to the McDowell News out of Marion, North Carolina for initially publishing this story. Caitlin Gortney works as a CNA for Care Partners Hospice McDowell. One of her patients, Carolyn Marie Parker, or Miss Marie, went through chemotherapy and radiation treatments for metastatic lung cancer. She had finished her treatments in March of this year and chose to stop curative care in order to have a better quality of life. Care Partners Hospice and Palliative Care McDowell provided help to her and her family. While working with Miss Marie, Caitlin learned of her two final wishes. The first was to see her granddaughter Kelly get married. The second wish was to see her granddaughter's new house that was nearing completion. Caitlin very much wanted to fulfill her patient's wishes, so she teamed up with Tanya Harris and RN on the team. They worked together to make sure that Miss Marie could attend her granddaughter's wedding, which was held in Gastonia. They helped her get dressed and ready, and she was driven to the wedding by her family. Later, they helped out so Miss Marie could actually visit the new house for her granddaughter Kelly and her husband Alex. Kelly is so appreciative of how Care Partners Hospice McDowell made the effort to fulfill her grandmother's last wishes. Of her grandmother's care and wishes come true, Kelly stated, the whole family is grateful. I am very grateful for the way things went. Caitlin was an important part of Miss Marie's care team, taking pride and comfort in her work. Of caring for Miss Marie, Caitlin said, it was a blessing to me. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to take care of her. Not everybody has the same goals that Miss Marie did. I am very blessed to be part of the family now. Carolyn Marie Parker passed away on May 17th at the age of 84. Caitlin, Thank you for your dedication and service to your hospice patients. It is obvious that you help others live their best life possible until their final breath. That is such a great responsibility that you have taken on and you do so with love and kindness. Congratulations, Caitlin Gortney. You are a CNA hero.